welcome to Pristina, Kosovo. We have finally made it. We have finally made it in to the country after being turned around at borders, coronavirus tests. We have made it and it has been so worth it. I'm so excited to explore this new, it's only 12 years old, this brand new country. And it is a country, the majority, the way it has a 51% majority of members of the UN rate it as a country. If you're from the UK, it is definitely a country. I am so excited to explore here. We're here at the City in really nice hotel on my balcony overlooking the city of Pristina. We like we do on our first day all the time. We like to do things ourselves. We like to do not too much research. We like to go out, see the best things to do in the city, things to eat, payer to drink. Payer is the beer here. I'm very excited to drink lots of payer. They do have a lockdown at nine o'clock, so we need to get out sharpish. The music's going. Um, <laughs> we do need to get out very soon and explore the city. Masks are mandatory. This country, it's had a really hard past. You think of war, but we don't want to go too into that. Let's show what the country has to offer now. We need more tourists here, and I'm going to show you why. Right next to our hotel is Skanderberg Square. This is deja vu. It really is deja vu. Very different Skanderberg Square because it's a very big boulevard that goes all the way down. I believe there's like different streets and they all have different names as well where there's loads of restaurants and bars, but there's also for art. Here. Yeah, there's like an art. We, we tried to understand it, but it was very scientific. It was like the sculpture of space. And then you've got like a Lego brick over there and you have just lots of arty pieces. So it looks very, very different. Literally just off the Skanderberg Square, look, a giant. Go and stand next to it. Want to see the difference? Yeah, look at the difference inside a huge Lego. <laughs> I don't know the significance for this in Pristina. Could looks be a good, quite nice. Good photo spot. The Skanderbeg Square is actually pretty relevant because after Tirana, Pristina is actually the second largest, highest Albanian speaking city in the world. So that's pretty cool. And they have a really, really strong relationship that dates back to the war, but we're not gonna get into any of that today. But that is obviously why they honor Skanderbeg here with the strong Albanian influence. God, they feel so nice. Look at this. Beautiful little Kosovan flag. Hello. This has got to be our first thing. First purchase is a Kosovan. How much is a Kosovan flag? The, this one? These are five, these are two. Okay. So we're going to get two for, for eight, eight euro. Bit he did pricey. a deal. Bit pricey, but they are really nice material and I think they're like easily to breathe in so they won't make us so hot. How does it look? You look nice. It's the most expensive mask ever, but I'm representing the Kosovo flag. I think it's good quality as Exactly, well. and you've got, we come here and we're representing. We want people to come to this country, so that is the first thing we're gonna do. Walking round, you will notice that you've got everything, you've got your shopping malls, you've got your Burger King, you've got your McDonald's. Like any big, normal capital, city you'll also find a lot of american flags around here um, they have a lot of respect for the us because they helped them with the war um, and they have a really really close relationship there's a couple of like crazy streets that we'll show you in another video A little bit further up past the boulevard we have found. God, it's so hard to talk with this on. I've double masked. I don't know why I've double masked. How, <laughs> is it this side or this side? This side. This side. How good is that mask? Behind me might be the most important monument in all of Pristina, and that is the Newborn Monument. Erected in February 2008. It was literally put up the day that they gained independence from Serbia. So they knew this was coming. They were ready. This was already built. They knew they were getting the independence. And every year, they actually paint it a different color. So if you come back next year, this will look completely different. And this year, I think it's about empowering women, which is really nice. The original color of the newborn monument was actually yellow. Uh, and then they decided to change it every year, which as Matt said, is obviously very nice. This year it is for women, hence the flowers. And it just looks really pretty. It's a different monument to have. You wouldn't actually believe it, but the letters together, they weigh nine ton. Like they look, like they wouldn't weigh a lot, but they weigh nine ton. That's crazy. I really like it. You've got all restaurants as well behind the monument and the actual monument itself, basically in the E's and the O's, any gaps, it's pretty much become a kid's playground. Everything is so easy to find here. It's like a really small center of the city. Behind me is actually the National Stadium 
uh, for Kosovo and FC Pristina. I wish there could be some fans to watch the games at the moment, but I thought it was a pretty cool thing and you'll actually find near some of the stadiums you'll have Albanian and Kosovan flags. And you see this building here next to the stadium, this building you will find out more about in a couple of videos time. Walking around, much like Albania, you will find lots, and actually all the Balkans of Birek stalls. But this one, this store, it done different type of Birek, actually. Oh, it smells really good. It was like a twisty one, but it's with potato. I haven't had a Birek with just potato before. Best thing in the Balkans. If you walk around a city trying to get things done, we're in a bit of a rush today. Mmm, look at that. Another different barrack. How mm. good is that? Mashed potato. Is just there anything else in it? Like no cheese, nothing? Just mashed potato, bit of salt, bit of pepper. It's really good. Only a euro, which isn't too bad at all. And this one's huge. That barrack was so good. I really enjoyed potato. It was nice. It was a bit rich, but it it's was good. It was very rich, very thick, but we've Hard only up. had sort of cheese and other types. We have never seen a potato one, so I was really impressed with that. And I am stuffed now, but. The lady at our hotel told us that we should come up to the Mother Teresa Cathedral and go up to the very top because apparently the views are For sunset, amazing. But For there's sunset. No sunset today. However, the sky looks very dark. Looks like it's actually about to rain. So we thought we might as well go up it now. Despite Kosovo being mainly Muslim country, going back to the Ottoman era, this church is actually one of the most important religious sites here. I think it may have been recently redone because it all looks very new, very fresh, and things are still being done on the outside. I think you can take the lift up or the stairs. Um, I don't know how much it costs. I think we've got to pay to go up. I have got to wear your mask. We have got to pay, and you got to wear your mask. It was one year, you didn't realise the guy was there. He was watching us, I thought he was waiting to come out of the way, um, but he said it's one year a week, you get, did you say you get an hour? One hour. One, which is a lot of time up there, so we probably could see it for sunset if we wanted to wait up there. There's for not going to be sunset, Molly. No, and you couldn't, no, there's not. And you couldn't take the stairs either, you have to go You have to go up the lift, I think you pay for the lift. Yeah, I reckon. Maybe that's probably I don't know what it works. is. Despite the fact that I tripped on the lift, I think I'll take the mask for now. We are up. And the views up here are incredible. I did not expect this for one euro, like I'm gonna have to show you. You can see absolutely. We're gonna talk about this building as well in a couple of days. But look at the views, it is so high up. How high up do you reckon we are? We're, we're very, very high. We're, we're very, higher very than high. some of the tallest buildings, but what a crazy city. It's a, very, yeah, it's a strange mixture. city, isn't it? It's very jumbled, you've got like, no buildings and then you've got abandoned buildings and you've got, got new, the tall old. buildings and it's fine in itself looking. and it's fine itself really well it's somewhere i think you definitely definitely come to here you might as well come up here first stop come up <laughs> this tower because the maps don't work that great and then you can find the yeah out. maps doesn't work that great but also we've seen so much construction like the, beneath me you can mm -hmm. probably hear the machines going so i reckon that this up. is going to be huge I really like this though. You can see everything around the city. A lot of people come up here, bit of graffiti on the wall, but why not? You get it everywhere. Um, and it's actually a really big city for a city that has a population of 400,000. Obviously had a really hard, really hard past. Very new country, 12 years old. This is why we wanted to come here. You find these things and it's really, really cool. It gives you something different. Again, it just feels like you're in a, a normal modern city, but with like unique things like this tower, um, like the newborn monument. It's, it's got a lot to offer. Good food, obviously very similar food throughout the Balkans, but amazing food, amazing views, and pay a beer. I love leading into it, Molly. I'm leading into the pay a beer for the next scene. <laughs> Once we come down here, I'm on a hunt for my first pay a beer. I've had it in Albania a couple of times, but I need to try a fresh one on draft. to get a beer and we noticed that behind me here is uh, a painting because Dua Lipa and Rita Ora are very famous and they are, are very proud to be from Kosovo that there are paintings of them everywhere. I have no idea what it is that she's actually on. It looks like she's on a, like a duck or an alien. I don't know, it looks like something. Prime example there of London meets Kosovo.
Now this, if I get the napkin off, is what I've been waiting for. We are back on the main boulevard. Mm. They do draft pay up beer. Look at that, size of my head. It's so good, haven't had it. We had it like twice in Albania because obviously there's other beers that are Albanian. This is the national Kosovan beer and it tastes so good. Cheers. Cheers. If you want a ice cold pint of Kosovan Paya, Restaurant Margot on the main boulevard. It's the place to go. We quickly come back, got changed. As we're in a rush because of the curfew, it's 6.30 now, need dinner, and we've actually found somewhere really nice near our hotel. So we've come into Soma, which as Matt said, is right next to our hotel, which is really good, and it is so pretty. There's so many lights outside. Reminds me of like a really Christmassy type of place, doesn't it you? Sort of, with the lights outside, the lights outside. The are lights lovely. outside are so nice, but it's a little bit cold to sit outside, so we've come inside, and there's literally books everywhere and it's very art deco like there's so many different like pieces of art in here they've even got a scuba tank there's a pinball machine and it's like a really old television and then you've got like all the books and paintings like it's really really nice um, and they've got beer this place is so quirky is the right word when you think of Kosovo people don't think of this and this is why you should come to these countries you find places like this it's, it's so unique it's the first place with I'd say that's a traditional pint glass we've got <laughs> for two burgers which have been brought out lovely on these wooden, what do you call them, a wooden platter? Wooden plate. Wooden sort of platter. In here you've got, so you've got books, you've got a pinball machine, you've got good food, you've got beers. What people say about Kosovo isn't true. You've got to come here and see it for yourself. I'm expecting big things. They eat a lot of meat in Kosovo, a lot of chofta. It looks so good. Oh my God, that was the biggest bite I think I've ever seen. Wow. That was incredible. Wow, the food in Soma, highly recommend the place, was so good. So good. Did I you eat had... so much? <laughs> so much. That was a terrible joke. That was really That awful. was really, really My bad. My chicken burger was so, so good. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a chicken burger the whole time we've been away and I really, really enjoyed it. That's the well, first day we always eat, we cheat. Tomorrow we back to traditional food. Well, I suppose we had a barrack for lunch. Really, really enjoyed Pristina though. It shows again, do not read what you see online, on the TV, in the media, the country, Kosovo, it's amazing. Great food, great restaurants, great activities to do, and great we've only scenery. Been here um, for um, a few um, hours. Nice people. Exactly. Only been here a few hours. Really, really good day. We went up to the clock tower. We see the newborn monument. We had Barek. We had Peya. What more could you want when you have Peya and Barek? Exactly. Though? Perfect, perfect day. I'm trying to get new mask. <laughs> new mask, but that is day one in Kosovo done. Stay tuned. There's going to be a whole lot more in this country. So we will see you tomorrow or the day after in the next one.